This is how the saddle tree looks on the horse without all the accoutrements of the leather and, the, and all the things that go on top of a saddle tree. Uh, the reason we uh, want to show this is we want to show that, first of all, we are not showing it with a therapeutic padding, which would lift that, lift that tree up off the back considerably more, but the bear tree on the horse, weight is distributed evenly along the bars on both sides without any kind of interference or pressing into the loins. However, we place that saddle far forward, so we've designed it with a tremendous amount of flare at the front edge of the bar, of the front edge of the tree bar, so that that horse's shoulder really can rotate freely without any interference. So there the rider is sitting in the position that's most akin to bareback riding and on the horse's center of gravity. The shoulder is able with complete freedom under, under the saddle tree and their weight is distributed along the whole edge of the saddle tree on both sides of the spine. Here we have Amanda Parsons riding the big horse Belle that I asked you to earlier. Uh, Belle is a very standard uh, Tennessee walking horse uh, and like most Tennessee walking horses if you watch her move without a saddle you're going to see that there is a remarkable amount of action that comes up from again all the way up through her back. So even though the, set, the gait is really comfortable for the rider, uh, there is still a lot of action going on under the rider's seat, back and forth, rather than up and down or, or side to side. But the action from from the croup loins up through the back, neck and shoulders. Now another thing I want you to notice, Amanda's riding this horse bareback in a position that is very, very typical for bareback riding. In fact, I've never seen a riding bareback who naturally assumes the position that is called balanced or centered riding by the rider has their, their ears, shoulders, spine, and heels all in alignment. Instead, a bareback rider tends to ride their heels drifted slightly forward of their seat. Their upper body generally falls slightly behind the vertical. They position themselves immediately behind the wither. That's the sweet spot. That's the center of gravity for the horse. The only way that you can horse bareback comfortably and safely is to assume this kind of a position, and natural riders who do ride bareback will always prefer it. This is the position, no matter how they've been trained um, formally in a saddle, this is the position they'll take when they're bareback and they don't have the saddle to depend upon for balance. They have to ride like this to maintain good balance. Now, if we ask Amanda, and we're going to here, to assume the correct equitation seat, which she knows very well, she's going to be moving three or four inches back, because that's where this typical saddle actually places the rider, right in the weak point. You see how Belle suddenly doesn't want to move? Um, over, and, and you see how Amanda doesn't stay very well balanced. She hasn't got the stirrups or the cantle or the reins to depend upon balance and so it's very difficult for her to balance back in the position where she'd be sitting in a saddle if in fact she were in a, a typical saddle. You'll see how her whole body, her upper body is now thrown forward as she works to maintain what's called the correct heel position with her heels in alignment with her hips. Uh, that throws her upper body forward. It stiffens her up, throws her off balance, stiffens the horse up and throws the horse off balance. And this is the reason why We've designed uh, out so that it's situated farther forward and places the rider in a, in a position that really is identical with the position that a rider naturally takes when riding bareback. Now, if you, would you feel comfortable, Amanda, going a little faster like that? I'm not asking to you. I'm just asking if you would feel comfortable. No. <laughs> okay, you see how the horse wants to keep halting and stopping. She doesn't want to, to move out. Now, if Amanda puts herself back in the position where she's comfortable, you'll see that horse is going to become much more willing and comfortable herself. She'll move right on out, and you'll get that nice, nice rolling action again through the back. And that's why we say that um, you don't pay a whole lot of attention to what's considered prop or traditional as regard uh, your, your seat, your equitation. You want to sit in a position that's most comfortable for you. We actually call this liberty equitation because it gives the rider the liberty to ride in a manner that's comfortable and functional for themselves and the horse. Now we have Amanda riding Bell 
in the IMS 4 Beat saddle. We just wanted to show how this saddle really does put you in the same position that you tend to take naturally ride the horse bareback. You'll notice as Amanda comes around that her heels are slightly forward of her hip and her upper body is slightly behind the vertical and she, her seat is positioned just a little ways behind the wither so she's in spot. Now I'm betting that she could drop, if you drop your stirrups, let's see where those we have the stirrups so that they fall exactly where the rider's foot wants to fall if she were riding without the support of stirrups. And that's the ideal, is to count on your stirrups for support, but merely to have them there for a little extra stability. Now, if Amanda were to want to pick her stirrups up again, she wouldn't have any problem doing so because the stirrups where her leg wants to fall.